What I got going on here is the Divi Builder. I've added a couple of sections here because I have to have some content to be dividing. And then here's where I put together the divider. On the front end, this is what we're looking at. On the back end, this is how I did it. I put in a Divi Divider module. I added the color, you don't have to. And then custom CSS, this is where the magic happens. Some of the magic. Display block important. The reason for this is Elegant Themes decided that on smaller viewports, the divider should disappear. And I didn't want that to happen in this case. So there you go. Then we have our icon. I uh, totally ripped off what I saw online and drew one up in Photoshop. Uploaded the image. This is a 50 pixel square. I don't know. Maybe it's a 70 pixel square image. The important thing here is I centered the image, removed the space below the image, then I assigned some custom CSS. Here's the CSS. What this is doing is moving that icon down so it lines up on top of the horizontal line. And the Z index too, make sure it's on top of the line and not underneath the line. And we just have to uh, save that up. And you'll see how it's gonna look. The last thing I did was, I moved this whole section up by removing the padding. So in this case, I have the custom padding on top set to zero. That's all there is to it.